All right, ladies and gentlemen, wow. You know what time it is, folks? I know what time it is. I think you can see what's here on my PS4 dashboard. Ladies and gentlemen, it is April 2018. It was three years ago when I first stepped into the world of Bloodborne for the very first time, when it was a new release, a PS4 exclusive at the time. It's still it. I guess it's on PC now, too, I believe. Um, <clears throat> I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't on PC. Now I don't even know. But anyway, um... When I played Bloodborne the first time around, I liked the game a lot. Okay, admittedly, it was different from the Dark Souls franchise, which I liked. But, there were always a couple things that kind of stood out about my Bloodborne playthrough that people had issue with. Number one, when I played Bloodborne three years ago, I grinded. I grinded off camera. In fact, it was the first time that I had used my PS Vita to remote play a game. I was downstairs in my living room grinding off camera. <clears throat> And then the next day I would play on stream, people would be like, how did you gain 10, 15 levels? Well, I was grinding off camera overnight. Um, a lot of people had issue with that. They don't like that I grinded in the game. They think that you don't need to grind to beat from software games, okay? So that's one, one reason that people have always said, oh, my Bloodborne run is kind of in contention. Number two, later on that year in 2015, the, Blood, the Old Hunters DLC for Bloodborne was released. Now, it released at a time when I was in the midst of all the new releases of the hardcore gaming season, most notably Fallout 4. And I was doing a lengthy playthrough of Fallout 4 and enjoying it. And people were just like, no, Phil, you got to drop everything to play this old Hunters DLC. And honestly, I didn't even care. I was going to skip it. But then finally, people hounded me so effing much, I gave in and I played it. However, when I played it, I played it at uh, New Game Plus level. And when I did that, sadly, it made the game very difficult. I couldn't even beat the first boss, Ludwig. I, I gave up. I said, I don't want to do this. You know, I didn't want to do this to begin with. I wanted to play Fallout 4, so I'm done with this. And I quit it. I never went back to it. All right? So that's always been an unfinished thing. I've only seen, like, the first third of the DLC, The Old Hunters. And a lot of people had issue with that. They were like, man, you really missed out on a great DLC. And it's too bad you never went back to it. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, full circle three years later. Okay? Opportunity for me to finally play Bloodborne a second time all the way through. This time around, I will not be grinding, and yes, I will be checking out the Old Hunters DLC as a part of the actual campaign of the game, which is honestly how it was probably supposed to be experienced to begin with anyway. <clears throat> so I think it should be pretty fun. Um, some people have also asked me about post-game. Oh, will he be doing the Chalice Dungeons and all that? I'm not going to think about or answer any of that until I get to it. The bottom line is, you know, this is a this is going to be a playthrough that I'm going to enjoy, but at the same time, it's not going to be my main focus. When other new releases come out, they're going to take priority. So the Bloodborne Redemption run starts right now. Let's see. I don't know how this is going to go. I haven't played this in three years. I hope I can remember the differences and nuances of the controls. I guess we'll find out. All right, here we go. Shout out to Straight Cash Homie. Straight Cash Homie did a 200-bit cheer. He said, here comes the pain. May God have mercy on Phil's soul. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. And as you guys can see throughout my entire... I'm pointing the wrong way. Throughout my entire Bloodborne Redemption run, I will have these stats on the top of the screen. So, yes, we will have a running death counter, but we'll also have things like top cheerer, top tip for the day, and a running subs count. So, I mean, this is my second run in the game, technically. I don't think having that stuff up there is going to really distract you from too much so okay i guess i'll play it online i'll be a sucker and i'll play it online all right welcome to online mode baby all right new game so by the way i had to play this on new game i should bring this up all my original Bloodborne save data, gone. Reason being, um, back then, I was all screwed up. And the reason being, uh, the cloud uploads were bugged. Because if you can believe it, WWE of all games, WWE 2K like 14 or some shit, had an error where it would upload gigabytes of data to the cloud. Instead of just your save files, it would upload gigabytes of data to the cloud. So my cloud was overloaded for like two years and no games ever backed up automatically. I lost all of my Bloodborne game files, so I have to start from scratch no matter what anyway. Here we go. Let's go with level seven visibility and I'll change it later if I need to. We'll see, put everything by default for now. 
There we go. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you've come to the right place. Look at this fucker. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. Oh, we know the mystery. We played this game before. But where's an outsider like <laughs> yourself to begin? We know you got aliens, alien DNA in your blood, you sick fuck. Easy. With a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. The... Thirty minute media says I have something on my shirt. <laughs> no, I don't. It's called it's called uh, a drawing is what's on my shirt. <laughs> Alright. Um Well then. What the heck should we do here, guys? I'm making a new character. We've done Dumas, we've done Fred Fox. Maybe we should do something completely new. Can we think of something completely different? Hmm. 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 We got Jacques the Cock. That's another one that I've done over the years. We got that. Drake has no talent. <laughs> How appropriate that I would make Drake has no talent now. You know what? Screw it, we're doing it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, come on! Come on! Oh! Nah. All right, let's do something different. Let's do something different. They cock blocked me with the character limit. All right. Let's see here. Hmm. 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 This is do Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. The Zucker make the Zuckerbot meme. The Zuckerbot. Damn, I don't know. A lot of people should have different ideas. I don't know what I want to do. Damn. Nick the dick. So you just, it sucks that there's just such a character limit because they're like, make Bloodborne great again or something like that, you know, something more appropriate. You can't. You can't do any of these because uh, there's the character limit. It's so short. Zoidberg? Make Zoidberg. Dick Lightning, but there's no magic in this game, so that wouldn't make any sense to do Dick Lightning in this game. I don't know. The Mooch? No, I don't think I'm doing the Mooch. See, again, I don't know if that... How many characters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Okay. Ah, okay. There you go. We'll go with the five the five year old uh comedy of my detractors, and we'll call him Sir Penne. <laughs> There you go. Sir Penne. Age? Young, mature, or aged? 
And we can mature. There you go. So these actually affects the stats. Oh crap. High life essence and vigor. So that would be health. It also looks like endurance goes higher, but strength goes down one. Highly resilient as a result. High endurance and high skill. This is high strength. Very high skill and endurance. This one's strength and skill. This one's, wow, blood change, very high. Cruel fate, a very, very high arcane, see that? A waste of skin. You're talentless and shouldn't have been born, that's fucked up. A waste of skin. Hmm. Hmm. And yes, I believe in this game, skill is dexterity, right? Because endurance is your ability to dodge and have your endurance meter, your stamina. Strength is the damage you deal. Skill is like dexterity in this game. And then Blood Tinge and Arcade are like the magic, right? The different kinds of magic. Vitality is health. So, hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. See, I don't know, because I don't know any of the weapons or anything for this game. Um. So I honestly don't know what to do here. Oh, we had some cheers. King Swag is cheers said Madame Dumas. Now, I'm not doing a female bill. Uh, Insomniatic Meat. What's up, man? He did a 200 bit cheers. He said, Sup. What's going on, man? Orcs for Dorks did a 50 bit cheers. He said, Lisa Williams, my ex girlfriend. What? And Pack of Wild Chimps cheers. He said, Waste of Skin. Waste of skin looks pretty crappy. I mean, it looks like it, it, it kind of averages stuff out. But, nah, I'm not doing waste of skin. If I do this one professional, then I need to get something with a high skill build. It'll have high endurance and skill, but low strength and vitality. So, but I'll be able to dodge a lot early on. <clears throat> you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. Professional. Just because I picked it. Appearance. Oh boy, here we go. Rimlogger. I'm not talking about that. Thank you for the cheer, but I'm not talking about that. Very simple. King Swag is cheered. He says, skill is the best stat to invest in. Well, there you go then. Voice. Alright, we're going with that one. <laughs> what the fuck? Slim, very slim, burly, very. Let's see what these look like. Very burly. He doesn't look very burly. <clears throat> Large head. There you go. Large head. I like that build. <laughs> 